Assalamualaikum This is uh, chapter 2 Root Locus Technique In this chapter um, I'll introduce uh, The introduction of uh, Root Locus The importance of Root Locus Control system problem that related to Root Locus And also vector representation of complex numbers Next um, We'll go through the properties of root locus and then we also have five rules for sketching the root locus and the last one, three additional rules for refining the sketch. After completing this chapter, the student will be able to define a root locus, state the properties of a root locus, uh, sketch a root locus, find the coordinates of points on the root locus and their associated gains. Use the root locus to design a parameter value to meet a transient response specification for systems of order 2 and higher. Sketch the root locus for positive feedback systems. And also the last one is to find the root sensitivity for points along the root locus. This is the second order system. Again, uh, we revise or refresh from... Uh, chapter 1, the introduction of a control system. For second order system, we have this general equation, numerator over denominator, where in the numerator, we have the natural frequency omega n squared over s squared plus 2 zeta. Zeta is the damping ratio, multiplied with omega n s plus omega n squared. For the denominator of this transfer function, we can find the roots of the system, which is uh, A1 and also A2. There are four possibilities of second order system based on the location of poles A1 and A2, whether both of the poles are real distinct, where the damping ratio is larger than 1, we call this overdamp response. If uh, both of the poles are equal, the damping ratio is equal to 1. This is critical damp response. If uh, poles are both imaginary, where the damping ratio is uh, less than 1 or equal 1, which is undamp. And if poles are both complex conjugate, where the damping ratio is larger than 1, less larger than 0, less than 1. This is we call underdamp response. This is a, a revision from the type of response for the second order system that we have go through in chapter 1, the introduction to control system. So again, based on the damping ratio value 0, we have both uh, imaginary roots. This is undamp. For the damping ratio, uh, less than 1, uh, larger than 0 and less than 1, we have both complex conjugate poles. Uh, this is under damp response. For damping ratio equal to 1, we have both poles, uh, real poles and equal. This is critically damp. And the last one for damping ratio larger than 1, we have both real and distinct poles. This is over damp.